Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 38 of our trek. Today and tomorrow, we're going to look at the 20 ingredients that make up the secret sauce which will make you successful. Now this sauce can be applied to either personal or business success. I feel strongly that it is not wise or even possible to compartmentalize your life into specific boxes or areas. We are a whole person with different areas of focuses throughout a single day. To be a truly successful person, all areas of your life need to be tightly integrated and use the same moral code. Values and integrity must be woven throughout the fabric of your entire life. Just as we cannot separate the body, soul, or mind, we cannot separate the areas of our life's responsibilities. What we do in one area of life impacts all areas. So be authentic, be transparent, be the person that you would like to see in others. And today we are recording our podcast from the studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. On Sunday, we drove back from Marietta with a stopover in Covington, Virginia for church, a church potluck, and to pick up Paula's mom who spent the week with Paula's sister Lois so that they could travel and visit some other family members. So today as we start, let's break up camp and head out for our trek for today. I recently read an article by Dan Walshmitt, the author of the book Edgy Conversation, that listed several items that he felt were necessary to be successful. I have adapted this list and added my years of experience and some personal wisdom to these items. So today and tomorrow we will sample these 20 ingredients that make us the secret sauce for success. Number one, you have to make decisions that you're afraid to make. All of us have fears to a certain extent. Some people are less risk tolerant than others, but unless a decision will cause bodily harm or death to you or others, then make those difficult and fearful decisions. You need to move forward the decisions based on the knowledge and experiences that you have at this point. Remember, not making a decision is a decision. Now, from a biblical perspective, fear should not be an overriding character trait in any of us, especially if you're a person of faith. In 2 Timothy 1.7, the Apostle Paul wrote to his protege, Timothy, For God has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Ingredient number two in our secret sauce. You have to get up earlier than you want to get up. Now, as a morning person, this is not a significant problem for me. But for my wife, Paula, it is much more difficult. Now, I've long since learned that she'll never be a morning person, and that's fine with me. It's not that you have to get up early every day, but to be successful, you must be able to get up earlier than you would really like to. Most mornings, I would desire to sleep longer, and I think most people do. It is a sacrifice, but to be successful, or to have a successful life, it is necessary. Ingredient number three in our secret sauce. You have to give more than you get in return right away. If you only give to get in return, then success will elude you. The principle of life is that you have to give first before you will see anything in return. Proverbs 11.25 says, The generous will prosper, and those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Ingredient number four, you have to care more about others than you care about yourself. If your desire for success is driven from selfishness, then you will be frustrated most of the time and probably will not be successful long term. In all areas of life, we should care for others just because we are of our concern for them. This is true both in personal and business life. The rules are always the same for both. Philippians 2.3 puts it this way, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. Ingredient number five, you have to fight when you're already injured, bloody, and sore. If you quit when things get rough, then you'll never be able to achieve success. You must be willing to fight for your dreams and goals. You need to be willing to overcome life's obstacles. You need to continue even when your strength is small. Ingredient number six. You have to feel unsure and insecure when playing it safe would seem smarter. Even the most successful people in life feel unsure and insecure much of the time. What allows a person to be successful is to push through these feelings and to achieve the results desired. To have the confidence to carry on when others would quit. Ingredient number seven, you have to lead when no one else is following you yet. This is a difficult one. Most of us would like to have a tribe to lead before we begin leading. We need to lead for a cause that we believe in, and then our tribe will come to us. Proverbs 12.24 says it this way, Work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and become a slave. Hard work precedes leading. Follow this pattern for success. Ingredient number eight, you have to invest in yourself even though no one else is. Now, you cannot expect others to invest in your growth if you are unwilling to first invest in yourself. Your growth and success are your responsibilities. Even if no one else ever invests in you, it's always worth investing in yourself. 
Ingredient number nine. You have to look like a fool while you're looking for answers that you don't have. If you allowed your pride to get in your way, you will not succeed long term. We all look foolish at times, and as long as we don't make a habit of being a fool, then looking foolish once in a while is both a humbling and a growth experience for us. And ingredient number 10. You have to grind out the details when it would be easier to shrug them off. We will always be tempted to take the path of least resistance, but that rarely brings us to success. The old saying is that the devil is in the details, which means that the small details of the task are the ones that are most difficult, but they are also the ones that are most important. Now, J.W. Marriott, the hotel mogul, put it this way. It's the little things that make the big things possible. Only close attention to the fine details of any operation makes the operation first class. And in the Bible, Luke 16.10 mentions how important it is for us to be honest with ourselves when it comes to the small details. If you are faithful in the little things, you will be faithful in larger ones. And if you are dishonest in the little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. Well, that wraps up our podcast for today. If you've missed any of our previous podcasts, please check them out at Wisdom Trek on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. Tomorrow, we will look at the remaining 10 ingredients that are required to make our secret sauce for success. So please join us at our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, creating a legacy. If you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, I encourage each of you to help us in the following four ways. Leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher so that the podcast will be downloaded to you automatically each day. If you previously left us a rating on iTunes or Stitcher, I certainly appreciate it. But if not, please leave us a rating so we can gain exposure on those platforms and reach a broader scope of people. And finally, spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. I thank you for this, and I thank you for allowing me to serve you. The journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where we also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and to create a great day. See you tomorrow.